How's the source field investigations coming along? <laughs> They're coming along fantastically. What do you find interesting about it? What's not to find interesting about it? Um, <clears throat> yeah, but give me, give me an example. Okay. Uh, group consciousness is probably the one that has hit me the hardest. Um, the story that we talk about of how meditating for certain amounts of time um, collectively together, intentionally, awareness-wise, um, can help with change in our day-to-day -day life. Hmm. How does it, I mean, how does it affect your day-to-day -day life? Being intentional and aware and aware of mm -hmm. consciousness mm -hmm. and breath and the fact that we're here together doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And if we all just thought peacefully, lovingly, harmoniously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I saw a TED talk about that once. There is a group worldwide jump for joy happening in 2023, July 21st. Mm. Everybody should, at 10 o'clock Eastern time, um, everybody is going to jump for joy at the same time. So like that is just a small thing for us to all do together at one time, but mm. consciously like, who knows what could that could do in the long run, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is anyone saying that if we all jump at the same time, it's going to affect the Earth's gravity <laughs> and we're going to get thrown out into space? People well, saying that? Yeah, Vice actually came out a couple years ago with a, um episode saying if we all jump at the same time. So we're doing it just despite? What if this was the end of the world? No way. All Don't of us trying to be that. conscious and harmonious with each other so we do this thing. <laughs> well, at least it would be the end of the world peacefully. Instead of it being a catastrophe. Okay, you ready to adjust it? Yes, I'm ready. Anything hurt today? Um. Better not say anything hurts on you. <laughs> of course, nothing hurts. No, nothing hurts, babe. How's your foot? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> it's doing better from the laser. Yeah. We should do that today again. Nice and gentle, I got it. Looks good. Sinking. Go let it go. Uh -huh. Ooh, be careful. What do you think the easiest way to be in a intentional group set, group mindset? Like if we're talking about group mind, group consciousness, what's the easiest way a person can do that day to day? So like, where are we putting our thoughts? What are our thoughts? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Let's what's the easiest way to do that? Directing our thoughts towards gratitude, bringing our awareness towards the more positive side of life, even though it's a lot easier to dwell on the negative. Mm. Why do you think it's like? Why do you think it's like that? Why is it easier to dwell on the negative? Cause I'm not sure. I would. I don't want to call it a comfortability, but it's always difficult for someone to step outside the box and try something new and 
constantly seeing something in a positive outlook, it could get tiring and and sometimes being in the negative space is just an easier comfortability for us because we know it so well. Mm, so does, it, does that make it human nature? Kind of. Human a little nature bit, wants right? to be trash talky. Right, yeah. It's also what what our environment is, what surrounds us, mm. what we consume, if it be food or media. So, I also wanted to talk about the pyramids. What about them? <laughs> That's in the book, and they talk about just just the numbers, a little bit more like num numerology, kind mm -hmm. of in a way, in the numerology of astrology, because everything is by the planets, and the numbers of the, the earth, and how far we are, and how everything just perfectly fits. So what do you think the pyramids are? Or what does it say in the book? Like, what, what is it? What does the source of investigations propose? As a possibility for the pyramids. They're like teachings. Like they were left for us. You read it. By who? <laughs> By a higher consciousness or a, a higher, more advanced mm. beings, civilization, people, spirits, mm -hmm. energy forms. And gentle mm. breathing. Good, letting it all go. Good sinking in. Good shoulders, relax, good. Weak. <sighs> I just cracked it two years ago. Okay, just relax. Let me do the work. You don't have to help. Just breathe. Sinking in. Seven, six, five. It's all here. Six, five. Good sink. And we gotta let it go. Shoulders relax. Good. That's good. Of course it was good. Respect. Babe. <laughs> Scare me. I thought you were frozen in time. Oh, yeah. I heard a truck coming <laughs> and I was going to wait for it to pass. <laughs> was it the mic supposed to be frozen too? <laughs> Go ahead. Solid. <laughs> Perfect. Shoulder back too. That was, yeah, that was deep. Good. S2. Good shoulders. Good. That was so good. Uh huh. <laughs> Lift it up. Down. Arms. Gentle breathing. Are you not gonna ask me if it's okay to be around my neck? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice and gentle. Okay, deep breath in. And out. Good. <laughs> You're stuck. Okay, ready, deep breath in. And out. Nice, gentle breathing just like that. Good. In through your nose. Okay, again, in through your nose. Good. Shoulders relax, let it relax. Good 
shoulders relaxing. Deep breath in. Top of the breath. Let it all go. Oof. Not quite. I feel like this. Pull your belly button up to your spine. Good. Thanks, babe. Um, I feel lighter and fresher and like I could run a million miles. You want to race? Is that what you're saying? You want to race? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Alright, we're going to race right after this. Okay, let's go. Oh, he gets another jump! He's gonna take this one most! Oh, she's come off! Ah!